What's up, guys? It's I am the masked man, artist, NFT collector, and flipper. I am absolutely in love with this space, guys, and I have just been, uh, you know, pretty much obsessed just doing homework 10 hours a day around this stuff. So in today's video, I want to show you guys some NFT projects that I'm looking at and just kind of talk about the reasons why I think these are good investments. Um, are they long term, short term flips, blah, blah, blah. Take you through some of my process, show you some of the people that I'm following on Twitter, because if you're not on Twitter and you're trying to get in this NFT space, like you have to be on here because like there's this account right here, which we'll go over in a little bit, but it has it's a big help. Um, in this space. So let's get right on into it. Um, last week, I talked about a couple different NFTs to keep an eye out. This one was worth 0.25 Ethereum. Now it's worth pretty much 0.5 ETH. So that's a gain of like $800 in just five days, which is fucking insane. But now it's out of my price range. I did not go into it. Um, the one project that I am a part of is this one right here, Dapper Dinos. It has been on a tear for ever since it's came out. It has been being bought up like crazy. If we go here, we kept check the uh, trading volume every, you know, five minutes pretty well. It's being bought, which is really good to see, especially because considering there's not much promo going around on this. So how did I find this project? Well, it, I found it through Gary V's V Friends, and this is a pretty cool thing. This is the very first NFT project to go through Gary V's PLP, um, uh, PLP program, which basically 555 of these dinos got sent to V Friends holders. Um, if you don't know what V Friends are, then you are clearly new to the NFT scene. Um, this is a monumental project in my eyes. It's very expensive, 14 ETH. That's a lot of gosh darn money. Um, but yeah, they have a bit of a partnership with the Dapper Dinos. There are some dinos that actually have um, Gary or V Friends logos on them. So one really cool tweet that I saw and made me a lot more bullish. And this was super undercover. Not too many people know about this so i saw this and i ended up buying a second dino because it made me quite bullish someone said gary v found this on a dapper dino is this your handiwork and he replied replied maybe that i think is a very subtle hint to say look this is something to keep an eye out anything guys anything that gary v talks about goes through the fucking roof guys the other day i was just in a twitter spaces and he was talking about how he thinks this project is going to go to the moon. It was worth one ETH at the time. I really wanted one, but I didn't have three or four thousand dollars to, you know, I, I have that much money in my bank account, but I'm not just going to risk, you know, that much money to me because it's too much. You shouldn't be risking more money than you're willing to learn. But had I have done that, I would have made like a fucking, you know, almost two thousand dollars in two days. This was worth one ETH just a couple days ago um this has an amazing team behind it and also a very relevant artist behind it too that i think is going to have longevity in the art scene as well as the nft scene and if you're an artist you better be getting involved with nfts if you're not getting involved with nfts it's like not getting involved in social media in the early days you know so i'm going to be dropping my own nft problem uh <laughs> problem project one day but i'm not quite there yet so that was that project um, there's a lot of other reasons, guys, why I like the Dapper Dinos. If we go to this Twitter account, guys, follow, follow these guys, okay? The NFT whale alert, put the post notifications on. See when, because you can see when big boys, whales, are spending lots of money on projects, all right? So these are some of the projects that they're buying. Another thing you can see is, um, let's see, hourly top sales, guys. Dapper Dinos has been a part of the hourly top sales for like two or three days so there's clearly some secret hype around this there's a lot of people buying into it there is a reason another reason why i love this uh dapper dinos project guys and why i have two of them is because they have um what's it called uh, breeding so if you hold two of these you're going to be able to take um two different traits one trait from each 
um, dino, and you're going to be able to make a baby dino. We don't know the full details yet, but there is going to be breeding. So you can take these twos, put them together, and make one new one. And all you have to do is pay the gas fees. All right. So there's a lot of um, other reasons I actually like this project too. They're doing a lot for charities, as well as they have kind of this mysterious comet landing today. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I've been in the Discord. Their Discord's going off. Another reason to join this um, clan or to, a good reason to join any um, NFT project is you want to always make sure that there is a good community. And what I like about this community is they're kind of a branch off of vFriends, which are very entrepreneur minded, um, nice people. So that's really cool. Another project I decided to ape into last night is Bears Deluxe. Okay. So the reason why I, as you can see, the floor price is down just a little bit. So I'm down a tiny bit on it so far. But guys, this has been around for fucking, what, 24 hours? You know, like it hasn't been around long at all. I like the artwork. Um, they're all hand drawn by a pretty cool artist. Um, I forget his name, but uh, whatever. Why did I get into this, right? Well, number one was because it was very cheap, you know, relatively cheap. I said, fuck it. I kind of aped in because I'm in this group chat here um, of a bunch of people that are into NFTs and stuff. And they were aping in because they saw lots of smart money were buying into this project. And a lot of times when you see that smart money coming in, there's a big wave of people that want to buy the floor out after that. And that's kind of what happened and went on a bit of a run. And now it's kind of um, regrouping and we're kind of down at 0.5. And there's quite a few for sale at 0.5. Not a whole lot though, because like I think this can move very, very, very quickly. If we look at the volume traded, um, like look at this guys, it's every you know couple minutes, every five minutes, whatever. Like it's be there's bears being sold, and there's not a lot of promo around this. So I think this actually has a lot of fucking potential. Um, I this is for me. This is more of a flip. I'm not really trying to hold this long term like the Dapper Dinos. My plan for the Dapper Dinos is to sell one of them, um, do some breeding and then sell one of them. And uh, hopefully that one will pretty much just pay for. Look, we already went up 0.01 ETH, guys, since I've been making this video. That's some good shit. Um, I actually had an offer on this one. I paid 0.19 ETH. Someone offered me 0.35 five ethereum for this guys that's like 500 roughly dollars of profit in two days um and why why did i like this one specifically well first of all the green background um it has you'd have to go to their website to kind of fully understand it but the green background and it had also um this gray beanie which is low but the pearls i like the pearls okay and i don't know maybe there's a good chance i don't know yet like they haven't released a lot of the uh information about this project but this could be a separate token as well for something i'm not 100 percent sure but um dapper dinos i'm super bullish on it still and uh so yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to talk about um on the ethereum two other little things to watch out for and this is more niche for me because uh as an artist i really fuck with both of these two um artists i'm really proud of carolang he just released a project today and it sold out within minutes. So really proud of him. Good for him. He's got this cool souls project on the go. Um, look how beautiful these are. Like these are so cool. I'm really stoked that he sold those out right away. That's uh, I could imagine not very easy to do. And these as well, guys, very beautiful aesthetically. You know, I'm, I would not buy any of these for 0.88 ETH. That's way too much money in my eyes for them. But I'm going to keep my eyes out on his Twitter page and wait for them to be minted. And I'm going to buy them at the mint price. Like if we look at these, we can see that um, these were being minted at, you know, 0.05 Ethereum. Holy shit. Did someone buy this for one ETH? That's a lot of fucking money. So that's kind of crazy. Um, and one other project, guys, that I will show you is on the Cardano blockchain. So basically, we know with OpenSea, one of the main problems we have is gas fees. And I think the thing stopping a lot of new people coming into this is that, you know, if you don't have 
thousands and thousands of dollars. Like it's not really cool to join this um, space on the Ethereum blockchain because just for me to buy this guys, all these NFTs, it costs, you know, anywhere from lately, it's been like $50 to $100 in gas fees. So that's just money on the back end that you're not going to, you know, that you've got to make on the way out, you know. So if you bought this at 0.1 ETH or whatever, like you're going to have to, it's going to have to increase a fair bit just for you to make your money back on the gas fees, which which is good and bad. You know, I think the good thing is it keeps a lot of people out that are scared, but um, that's the reason why I think a lot of these new people coming in are going to go to the Cardano blockchain because, or there's a couple different ones, the Tezos blockchain as well. Um, there's a couple other ones out there that have a lot of potential, but um, yeah, these were just 95 Ethereum or sorry, 95 ADA just two days ago. They went up to 125 and now they're kind of falling down just a tiny bit. But I just like this project because I think people are going to be heading over to Cardano. This is very early to get in in this side of the space. And I just think the art's kind of cool for this. They have a decent following on Twitter and uh, I haven't really checked out their Discord, but I have been keeping my eye out on this project. So that's pretty much all I have to say for you guys today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Um, if you guys want to talk crypto or check out my art, hit me up on Twitter, Instagram. Also, I have a Discord. Um, if you guys want to join it, it's in the video description down below. We like to um, share artwork on here. We like to just hang out, talk, whatever. And we also have a little section for NFT talk and crypto talk in general. So I'm looking forward to kind of grow this uh, Discord out for many different regions. <laughs> regions. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Um, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, have some fun. Peace out, A-Town.